Hey guys, Exit Fifty here, and today is going to be Exit Sign Setup 18. Let's go and begin. So in this spot of my room, I have my Elthonia lighting, 6 ELM2B, um, high output, incandescent uh, black housing emergency light. This emergency light was part of the first generation quantum series by Elthonia. Um, this is the high output version of the ELM2 first generation. Um, so there it is. Kind of a bulky emergency light, but it's pretty cool. And we'll go ahead and give it a test by the test button. There's the AC light test button. Um, so we'll go ahead and give it a test. And it is fully incandescent with reflectors, which is awesome. So I have this right head right here pointing on this side of my room or over here. I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but um, there you go, kind of pointed over here. And then I have the left head pointed about kind of right here, I guess, my middle of the room, if you want to call it. Um, and it does a good job, so there you go. Now above my door I have my generic exit sign combo, no name, Chinese, see them everywhere for the most part. This is a um, LED exit sign with incandescent emergency light, emergency light heads. No reflectors unlike this unit. See that one has silver reflectors. This just has plastic reflectors that really don't do anything. Um, so just to make it cheaper. So you can actually see into the bulb. <laughs> um, but uh, there you go. No arrows because of course this is the exit to get out of my room. Um, I really can't mess with the adjustments too much because it doesn't spread light well. So I have this head pointed about right here and I have the other head pointed about right here. Um, I mean it it's, doesn't do the best job kind of just lights up around it but there you go and now for the spot over here I have my Lithonia lighting LQM second generation um, LQM SD in green um, this is a self-diagnostic emergency light if you like to pause to read you can so just a um, status indicator so on and so forth and I have the sign pointed or the uh, right arrow pointed out because that is the exit pointing. Um, of course, it's battery backup. We'll go ahead and give it a test. As you can see, it tests itself. The green flashing means it is testing. And so it will test itself for, I think it's a minute. Um, I'm gonna go and cancel that because there's really nothing to see. As you can see, it is in red and red as according to a little sticker. Um, solid red is high charge, and now it is charging the battery at a fast rate. And when it was on green, that meant it was just trickle charging it. So there you go, pretty interesting setup. Green sign, red sign, black housing, emergency light. So we'll go ahead and simulate a power outage and we'll go to the next spot. We are now simulating emergency mode. Of course, this is on and the AC light is off and it is in battery backup mode, emergency mode, whatever. Generic combo is on, lighting up. As you can see, it lights up the door and this is pretty much what it looks like in real life, lighting. And then the 6ELM2B takes over and it's lighting up pretty well, as you can see. Um, I do like it. This is a vintage emergency light. Um, so, yeah. Actually, I had three power outages with these, this setup in this uh, video. I unfortunately didn't get it on film, but uh, we were having bad, bad storms a few weeks back, and power got cut out three times, and, well, probably more, but it was kind of things, it was like, Power was on, turn off and right back on, so I don't really classify that as a power outage. Well, not really a major one. Um, 
because the units didn't even respond because it was so quick. Um, but uh, yeah, there it is. I like them. Um, oh, uh oh, that's not good. That is not good. This unit failed. Uh oh. Well, that's a first. This is a first on my channel. This is the first time an exit sign of any sorts failed when I was doing a test. Wow. This sign has actually been up maybe four weeks. Everything has on the setup. And it failed. Dang, that's that's weird because this is by Lithonia. I would kind of. <sighs> that's crazy, huh? Cause, I mean, I would kind of be less mad if something like this failed because you know it's generic. But this is a brand name. This is UL listed. That's not. And and it was green at the beginning of the video. Well. That is a first, my Althonia LQM GSD exit sign has failed. I didn't even have this on maybe like two minutes. Wow, that is unreal. Well, you've seen it here first. Um, that's crazy. All right, well, I'm gonna cut on the power and we're gonna go and check out this sign and see if the self-diagnostics tell us anything. Crazy. Okay, so I went ahead and powered the 6 elm 2 b and the generic combo up. I have not powered this sign up because I would like to do it on film. Just in case anything does happen. Not bad, but let's go ahead and do it. It's now plugged in. And we don't have a failure. It's just on high charge. Yep. Well... That is, and I cannot test it as if it does that. That means um, it's insufficient, so I cannot test it quite yet. Well, that is not good. Um, I will give you an update in the next setup to see what happened. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and move on to my dad's office. That was a, I've, I don't think in my channel's history I've ever had any of my units to fail like that did. That didn't even last, that only lasted about two minutes. So, alright, well, we'll move on to my dad's office and continue with the setup. Alright, so now in my dad's office we have a generic exit sign combo, or a uh, Starbucks combo, if you want to call it. Um... Quick side note if for those that are like a Starbucks combo, did Starbucks produce an exit sign combo? No, um, I just, when I say Starbucks combo, that's basically any combo with green lettering and black housing. So this particular combo does fit that, so I just it's a nickname I just made because that's Starbucks' is a color scheme, but that's besides the point. So of course the sign is pointing over to the door to get out, and I have this head pointed down kind of in the egress path. And I have the other head attempting to point right here in this area. Since it is an incandescent head that does not have a reflector, it really can't spread light as well. So it can't spread light back here or over here or anywhere. So um, that's okay. Well, I was about to say that's okay, but that's not really good. Um, this is actually a knockoff of a big beam combo. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, it's kind of a big beam combo, genericified if you want to call it. Um, basically, the heads can swivel above the sign, which is very cool, and they can also do weird moves like that. Um, now, something unrelated to the signs themselves, and actually to the series, is that recently in my dad's office, we put these little shades on the windows. So now I can shut them, and it can be pitch black in here. So now, when there's a combo or anything in here, I can actually show how well it is. However though, um, I'm actually filming this at night. As you can see, it is pitch black outside, so it's gonna be uh, even darker in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights and unplug the sign. Actually, let me just give it a quick test with a test button, just so you could see. 
Oops, there you go. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn off the lights and we can see how well this combo performs. All right, we are now in a simulated emergency mode. So like this is kind of about what I'm seeing in real life, to be honest. My camera does not want to focus. Um, this is about as bright as it actually is. Um, and the generic combo in my room is actually a bit dimmer than this. So, I can see, well, I mean, I can, I can see, I guess it would be enough to get out, but it's just, it's bad. I mean, it gets dark. Now I can't even, camera can't really see it, but it kind of does cut off. Oh, but, uh, you know, I mean, there it is. So, I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? There's the heads, so you can literally see them, um, but, uh, you know, that's why generic really isn't the best, but, um, uh, yeah, there you go, so, I guess we can go ahead and head in the garage. Speaking of Lithonia LQM second generations, here in the garage we have my Lithonia LQM AC only exit sign above the door, and we got junk in front of it, and that's not good because kind of get out but I don't like it so that's up here AC only exit sign um, really no way it can fail I guess and above that we have my e-top lighting uh, the technically generic non-adjustable X uh, not an exit sign emergency light and uh, as you know I despise these um, I think this has been in the garage before in the past I'm kind of running out of um, <laughs> Uh, set up ideas because I, I kind of been reusing the same ideas. I need to get more units, but uh, that's besides the point um, Doesn't point anywhere kind of all over the place and we're actually trying to air out my garage right now So I cannot close it But um, I'll just kind of because you've seen this in the past and how it worked in the garage because that's the same mounting height It's been um, I guess I will um, just uh, set this to emergency mode just so you can kind of see what it looks like with a fully open garage at uh, 12 o'clock um, so, well, 11.35 but you get my point so obviously the sign is out and that is on and this is probably as realistic as it gets this is exactly what I'm seeing really the only thing it's lighting up is itself um, and uh, yeah, well, it's kind of lighting up the wall barely, not even the ceiling, I'm not, not, nah, the door isn't even lit up, but, you know, at least something that was incandescent and adjustable could do a little bit, but this emergency light, frankly, doesn't do a thing at all, um, that's why these really aren't the best. So, uh, generic or not, uh, with reflectors or not, LED or not, non-adjustable stuff really doesn't do a thing. Don't get me wrong, um, I do have a special place in my heart for all exit signs, emergency lights, combos, remote heads, inverters, so on and so forth, no matter if they're generic, old, company named, or whatever. Um, I just like to, in my videos, give negatives, um about things just if you would like to buy one you kind of know what to expect and if you don't believe me i'll give a positive a few positives about this unit i like how it actually has reflectors and not junky no reflector plastic i do ha i do like how it is a sleek design it looks interesting i like the pattern right there there's actually a relay inside that you can hear it when you test it and when it goes into emergency mode i like how the test button is actually you know a decent one unlike some other ones um, and it is, of course, easy to install. That's about it for this setup. Let me know what you guys think. I still can't believe my LQM in my room failed. Um, let me know what you think of that as well. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or want a rant about Lithonia, just kidding, feel free to leave them in the comment section. All right, guys, I will see you in another video. Bye. Exit.